stitchy friends hope you're all well um uh, this video i'm going to do a another bit to the bunting and this time we're going to do a little birdie or a little chick or whatever you want to call it um i'm going to do it in trapunto so as always you can download the pattern free um from our website if you go to the little uh, the tab along the top that says free bid they're there um, I'm just gonna put my phone on silent because I seem to be getting a lot a lot of text through um, just bear with, that's it thank you yeah so you can download that or you can draw your own freehand no problem there but this is I just like to make life a little bit easier for myself and for you so first up you want to cut out your shapes I've already done them in I did them in craft card but you can do them on tissue or you can just use this to cut out it's no big deal I just use these because I want a bit of more stability while I'm working next thing you'll need is a a bit of uh, scrap fabric that your heart will go on just in this is an old pillar slip um, case and it's absolutely had it <laughs> so then you want a, another piece of fabric that is going to be the top of it so this is like a back in this is a top piece and then you might want a scrap of fabric for your wing so you're going to do your birdie on that and your wing in that bit so but you will cut out your heart shape with that fabric let me just put that together so first up I'm just going to do this little I'm not going to do that I'm going to do my heart you'll also need one of the uh, pendants that I did in the first um, in I think it's on the bunny uh, pattern but my pattern shape size is five and a half inches or 14 centimeters by seven and a quarter inches or 18.5 centimeters and it's just a little bunting pendant type thing this has obviously not been cut out to the exact size but not to worry and i'm only doing one layer you might want to do two but for this for this purpose i'm only doing one layer because i don't need to um back it for the moment so i'm just going to put that to one side for a minute and i'm going to show you what to do oh i've got cat here let's get rid of it gertrude is lurking so she will probably be um around in a bit i'm going to just pin these together so they stay so I don't um, get misshapen that'll do that'll do I'm just going to put my pattern on I'll draw around I use a heat rate erase pen, not that you'll be able to see it very well, but I'm also going to use my pinking shears to cut this out. Not for any other reason than I just want a pretty border. So I just need to get them over there. So put that to one side. Yeah, so I'm going to cut around the pin in there. Feels like it's moving because this fabric's a bit shiny, polyestery, horrid fabric. But I, I can't throw anything away. Um, when it comes to fabric so I just tend to use them as 
little scraps like this. It's the actual pillow, pillow itself because I've used the um, the stuffing. Because what I'll do is I'll re, I'll wash the pillow, then get the stuffing out and dry it thoroughly, and then that pillow, the slip that it's come in, I use that for scraps of other things. Right. Okay. Just put that in the scrap. Wonderful. In the real world, I'd get my iron out and iron that, but I'm not. Oh gosh, I'm stuck. I think I've had this conversation about my floor before. Oh, there we are. The floor in the craft room um, isn't finished, and I've got like a little lip, and I keep getting my my wheels stuck in said lip. Right. Okay. So. I've just done a pin. There you go. And just, oh. Just going to pop that to one side. Because I'm just going to work on this for now. And just get these little. I love this little lint roller. It's uh, been a great find. Purchase. So I'm going to put my little bird on here and I feel like I'm going to use a aquamark or am I yeah I'll just use an aquamark I think I've got a finer tipped one yeah these aqua trick markers this is a bit worn, worn out now i like an extra fine one they're great um and i sort of i, I tend to use these more than the friction pens because i don't have to get the iron out <laughs> oh dear and i dislike ironing so Draw around your the pattern. You can just use a pencil, by the way, or an ordinary pen. We're going to sew around that because, um, we, like I say, we're doing a trapunto. Now, trapunto is it's basically something that's stuffed a, a, um, a piece of work that gets stuffed from the back usually. And I'm just going to go snip around that, not that way. Just gonna pop that on because this is the wing and it doesn't have to be perfect. I've been making little hearts out of Liberty fabric. And these are the scraps. Never 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 do I get rid of a bit of Liberty fabric if I can help it. It always has to come in handy. But I'm going to London on Wednesday and I shall be visiting liberties to see what they've got so that is my little pattern done and i'll put that together and save it so you can pop your wing on i'm just gonna oh there you go you can position that wherever you want I'm going to go there and anything that you want to sew on sew on at this point because uh, you will struggle once it's on it's attached right what I want to stick your bird in I'm just gonna stick that down <laughs> trusty prick stick again Ooh. I'm just gonna dab it dab a bit of glue it's always easier than a pin because then it well it's not sticking in you and I should have ironed this but um, there we go so I'm going to do I'm going to stitch that on I'm going to put some legs in 
so for birds legs so they come back at an angle and then they come forward okay and you can oops I fell down again put your uh, what are they called talons and then I'm going to do a long a bit longer one there Bird feet, bird feet anyway. Actually, that looks a bit, a bit on the wonk, but I'm not going to worry. <laughs> so feet are in. I might put a bit of detail here for its tail feathers. I want a beak, an eye, and then I might do a bit of detail there. You do you, as I say. I mean, his legs are a bit one bigger than the other, but I'm not going to worry about that. But I am going to, I don't think, I'm going to use a bit of that for his beak. Where are you, scissors? Let's find you. bead on for his eye. I'm going to have a look and see what I've got. So you just want to want to triangular bit of something for his bead. You can do satin stitch, you can do, uh, you could even put a scrap of fabric on. I'm going to do a bit of a rough satin stitch um, just because I don't feel like I need it to be too perfect. I hope you can see I'm not going off the screen. I've sort of learned where, where I am. It's just that sometimes if Gertrude comes and jumps up, she knocks the camera and I don't realise because I'm so engrossed in what I'm doing I then have to go back in and redo the whole thing which can, is pretty annoying right. okay that's my bit of satin stitch beak wonderful just tie it in a knot I'm not, not too precious about finishing off because you're not going to see this I'm just going to put mm, want some. I think I might just do some little stem stitch. But shall I do? I'm going to do it in this green. I know. I know. Oh, I've got it already on here. Oh, similar. That'll do. I know not necessarily birds are green. <laughs> uh, so a bit of stem stitch. But as I always say, artistic license and all that. They obviously haven't got flowers on either. I'm not here to make a, a lifelike picture. You can do this in the hoop if you wish before you cut out the heart if that's um, if that would make it easier for you but to be honest for what I'm doing it's not worth getting out the getting out all the kit and I'm doing a really rough stem stitch I'm not I'm not worrying about it. I'm not, I'm not worrying about me going up and down and going in the right di same directions. This is a bit of fun. But yeah. So we're going to oops, keep on going. The stem stitch, by the way, you can, what you do is you, 
you go back, it's like a back stitch but you come back to meet uh, the last stitch and you hook it around the back of your thread, uh, your, st your needle. Two, one more. But I'm doing it quite loose, so I've got like a little bit of um, loopy, feathery kind of thing going on. I'm not trying to make it perfect. The sun's trying to come out, so hopefully I will get in the garden today and finish off what I started yesterday. So annoying, raining. It was it's the UK? It's it's springtime. Always usually wet, so you know we get lured into a bit of a false sense of security and get everything going and get out there and then it <laughs> it either becomes frosty again we have some snow or it well never mind or but it usually absolutely tips it down right I'm going to go in on this one with a few little stitches and I'm just going to do a I'm going to do a feather stitch which is apt so feather stitch, come up, across to do a little stitch and then back down in like a one, two, three triangle. And as you come up, oh, make sure your thread is behind your needle and pull. And then you want to go across and make another stitch. I'll go do it that way and then come up again in the triangle shape. Okay, so you and then you going back. Up again in the triangle shape. Back across. As long as your thread's underneath your needle, so it holds down, I might just get another tiny little one in there. So it's at the back of your needle, if you like. Can you see it's it's behind your needle? So as long as it's like that. And then to finish it off, I'm just going to go back down there. You probably can't see that very well, to be honest. It doesn't, won't stand out, but right, legs. Let's do some legs. Let's do some bullion knots. So, milliner's needle. thread on. I'm just using a cotton purlay by the way just because that's what I've got to hand. Oh Gertrude and Reggie are chasing each other now up and down the stairs <laughs> so they'll probably be in in a minute yeah or he'll be whining but she won't let him past Why can't I thread you? Come on. Come on, come on. Oh. Come on. Oh, is it going? There we are. No. Try a different needle sometimes. 
There we go. Don't want to thread, do you? Done. Gotcha. Oh no. Now we're in a knot. Oh my goodness me. Right, the time lucky. Come on. There we go. Whew, that took some doing. going to do some bullion knots for my legs and I'm going to come up there down back up next to my first I'm making life difficult for myself this morning right there's the knot get the knot out of the way back up hold on to it and wrap and keep wrapping until your wraps are as long as your stitch. So that's way too many. So that stitch is the same length as the amount of wraps you've got. Hang on to the wraps and pull your thread needle through. Keep going. Give it a wiggle and you're going to go back down next to that one. And they look like little leggy bits. <laughs> and I'm going to go another one. Um, am I going to go all the way down there? Yeah. I'm going to make a big long one, I think, yeah, no I'm not, I'm going to do it to the same again. Push it down, keep on going to the, it's the same length or more or less the same length and pull oh that might not go because i let go too soon it, oh no, we're okay we're okay wiggle it about a bit back down and then i'm going to do some little legs up down there, up back next to it. Do you know, um, I think it was my daughter, she was saying, I can't get to do these, I can't do them. Um, but there is a video, a short video on the on the YouTube channel, uh, just showing you how to do bullion knots and fly stitch by the way, and stem stitch. So I don't know if you want to have a little look at that. Do you know what? I'm going to come. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you can have a little look at those. Just watch them on repeat. <laughs> but she said I've watched that and I, I was. Uh, it was easy once you'd once I'd mastered it. Pulling, but you want these flat really and not standing up. Uh, back in, I 
I mean, you can just do straight stitches. You don't have to do a bullion knot. You do whatever suits you. I'm just like to do a bit of a different stitch, to be honest. Oh, nearly. Um, I just think it gives texture and depth. And I'm often asked, how do you get depth into your work? And it is literally through colour of thread and depth and um, layering up stitches. You know, making thicker stitches or bigger stitches or... And that's all I do. It is as simple as that. Just looking what I've done here, it doesn't look right. I think it's because my. I think it's because I've got my legs. I don't know why I'm worrying. <laughs> oh dear, I'm suddenly thinking to myself, why are you worrying about that? It's not um, the end of the world, it's just a little birdie. A bit of fun. Right, back down. I'm probably doing about 10, 12 wraps, just making sure that they are the same distance and that's all we need to do, you need to make sure that your wraps equal or the length of your stitch, that's all you need to do and I'm going to come back a little bit there Because I feel like my legs were wrong, feet bits. Oh dear. I'm counting. I don't know why. I'm hoping that I'm not too late to do this for you for Easter. I know I sometimes don't think ahead enough. Ouch. And um, I sort of miss the boat. But I think it's like a spring. Hello, spring type thing isn't it Easter go down last one I'm a bit close to that edge but hey ho Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, about ten wraps. Oh, what happened there? Interesting. Oh, did I not? Oh, I'm a twit. I didn't come down. Oh, pretend you haven't seen that one. I went straight across, didn't I? Yeah, pretend you haven't seen that. I'm just going to couch it down a bit. <laughs> Oops. I'm only human, by the way. I do make mistakes. There we go. My feet aren't fabulous, but I'll show you in a minute. Let me just put a knot in before. Right. Okay. Yeah, they're not the best, are they? But hey-ho. I'm not going to worry. You can't see that very well. There we are. I'm going to find something for the eye. I want a little black bead. And of course, I've not thought that through. Let's see if I can find something. I've got a 
dark blue one that will do me. Is it going to be a dark blue one in there? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Is that big? Is that too big? No, that's fine. I get the seed beads out and now. I want to cover it in beads. <laughs> I've to stop myself. Oh. Um. Yeah. Find some thread that's going to hide that. I think. Uh, I've got a bit of black on there. That'll do. I can hear Harvey wandering around. He's being as quiet as he possibly can. But when you're a six foot three lummox. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, where did you come from, little bead? Strange. I'm just going to flatten him down. I'm going to come up again. In there, just because I want it to stand up, don't want it to stand up on its end. Wonderful, yeah. I can hear him. Is um, I mean, I've had this conversation with you a lot. He is making converting a van into a camper, so he's 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 sort of sort of uh, making his. He's getting himself ready to get going on it again because the sun is actually out and doing its stuff. Right, okay, so here's the trapunto bit. We're going to match that back up. And one pin, stick a few pins in. Uh, Okay. Don't need to be down there for now. Sometimes I think I'm, I'm whispering, but I'm not whispering. It's just that I talk to myself. I think one of the lady, a lady commented, and I'm ever so sorry. I, it, the cam, the microphone does work, but sometimes I'm, I'm, I'm talking to myself and not actually to to you if that makes any sense whatsoever right I'm gonna go around here I'm just gonna get myself some thread and a needle with a biggish eye my favorite needles by the way are chenille needles I can't do that one that's this is too thick for that because the eyes longer and bigger and I can usually see to thread it quite quickly but you do whatever you've got don't go out buying special but I use a, a 24 26 and sometimes a 22 they're my three fave go-to needles I'm sorry, I'm just untwisting this thread because it's like coiled up like a telephone cable. Do you remember that when we were kids? Well, when I was a kid. We had telephones with a, like a coiled up cable. And they'd be twisted up and you had to hold them up, hold the hand, hold the cord up. And this is all, come on, done, untwisted. Un unspiral. Right, I'm going to go around here with just a simple running stitch. And do you know what? I've made a bit of a boob, a mistake, by putting the beak on first. Well, that don't matter. Make sure you're sewing both pieces together. Oh, goodness me. Get rid of you. Um... I'm using um, 
um, some sheepies maxi sweet treats thread I absolutely adore these and I've just ordered a load for the shop on the website so they once they arrive I will pop them in the shop because you get masses on there and they they're like a they're about a size eight pearly but look how much for one pound fifty or something like that and they're about three quid you get so much more for you so much more bang for your buck I would say so I will be letting you know when they're in the shop um, I'm looking forward to that because I'm sort of I don't want to have a big selection of threads and things in the shop it's I haven't got the space to, to stock it for a start but when I really like something and I'm using it quite a lot and I want to pass on my sort of things that I use to you um, it's easier for me to stock it in the shop see what I mean I've gone round and I've got I should have done the beak over the top but oh my gosh I'm getting a knot I've got a knot why have I got a knot it's because I'm rushing where's the knot no I haven't I think it's because I've got thread Try. oh it's the knot from that let's go under yeah it was it was the knot from the beak so yeah look out for those this should be in the next couple of weeks I'm, because it's the first time I've ordered from um, the stockist the sheep is stockist sheep is sheep is sheep is stockist I don't know how long it'll be before they come into stock so as I say just bear with and you'll be the first to know on a running stitch I am having a nightmare with this I think it's because it's um, She says, oh, I love this to stitch with, which I do. And now I'm looking like, I think it's this polyester thing. It's, it doesn't seem to like it. it. Keeps like pulling it through. Horrid. Horrid, horrid, horrid. That's it. But, but you do it with a pearl egg. You always have to keep on twisting it anyway, because it twists. The more you go up and down, the more it twists. So just keep on flattening it out so you're not getting rook holes in with the running stitch that's what I was going to say I always like to have the top stitch longer than the um, one underneath because it just looks a bit more I don't know, professional I don't, I don't know and try and keep them all the same kind of size just personal choice personal choice I will straighten this up because I don't want that showing at the back but it's slippy sliding and even though I've got pins in it's it's wanting to do its own thing it's wanting to wander off on a different direction so maybe I should have just picked up an, another bit of cotton rather than this this naff polyester bit. Lessons in life learned. And that's why I'm here. To make the mistakes so you guys can get it right first time. <laughs> I'll just keep telling myself that I know. Oh dear. Oh. I actually love this little ditzy blue fabric though. This one has been given to me. It's not scraps of fabric. You know, you know when you're a textile 
you are artist as I like to call myself these days <laughs> um, people suddenly want to give you all their uh, mother-in-law's stash that's been gathering dust for years and that's absolutely fine I don't mind that I don't know what's going off outside, that's funny. Land there. And again, I've just sewn through the knot and made it. That's it. Horrid. There we go. See what I mean? I've just sewn through the flipping knot and pulled it all tall, all rookered up. So right, get rid of that, snip it off, and I'm going to go around this and just trim it back because I don't need it, and, but I don't want it to be showing on the front. If you're using cotton fabric, you probably won't need to do this. But that's because this has slid around so much. It's now not the right shape. So I'm just getting rid of it. Make life simple. With the most horrid um, pinking shears. Great big chunky things. Get that out of the way. I'll just come down that side again. Like I say, you probably won't have to do this. In fact, you won't. This in the other one I've done. I did do a live of this on my face in my Facebook group, and I tried to. I wanted to upload it, but it's it hasn't. It's not the right format, so I've had, I'm redoing it, which is nice. I don't mind. So. You stitch the back to the front and I'm going to I'm not going to get rid of the um, pen just yet I'm just going to show you what to do next so trapunto is raised work it's like stuffed so you're going to make turn it turn your work over and in this fabric here we're going to make a little slit snip enough to just just gonna cut it's about a centimeter half an inch something like that just enough to get your finger in and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a bit of stuff in and we're gonna stuff the back of it through the back oh shit. come on that's it never in okay don't make it too you don't want to go, go too crazy with the stuff then just enough to give the suggestion of a raised area by the way if you wanted to do the bunny in this or the um the lamb or the uh, um, well that's it the lamb bunny or this in it you can you can mix it up you can do them all the same you can you do whatever is your bag I mean I, I always say I'm just here to facilitate an idea right so I've not put very much in there at all you can see and that's raised it and give it, it a, like a relief kind of look but you don't want to go too mad because you're going to distort the fabric so I'm going to get the back of your pendant and we're now going to stitch it down onto it 
you don't need to sew up the hole by the way because we're stitching down onto this and you can do whatever stitch you want I'm just going to do a running stitch again in the good old style because it just makes life easier but if you wanted to do a blanket stitch or a chain stitch round it whatever you want it's your thing okay so I'm gonna find a needle uh, I don't want to do that one again I'm gonna do a different put that in the alt I feel like I want to do oops one of these colors and I'm going to go with pink. This is this is a variegated thread, so it could come out any colour. Yeah, it's got a green and pink on it, but I don't mind. Who minds? Not me. Put you away. start at the point and I'm going to go around the edge just about a quarter of an inch in my nose is itching sorry I'm just going to do a running stitch all the way around get rid of you And try and keep it flat. I know it looks like it's going to be um, stood up, but it won't. It will. It will. It will. Um, it will settle down once you've stitched all the way around. Try and keep a straight line. I maybe needed a longer needle. Keep your stitches nice and even. Again, you could glue this down with a bit of uh, Pritt stick, glue stick. Try not to stab myself again. the last video for today because I'm sort of doing them in a batch because and once I get going I like to do a few because setting up although it's always set up my work stations always set up with the camera overhead it's sort of getting the laptop in the right position and etc And getting myself in the right frame of mind to do something is always um, always not it's not, not a challenge but because I work for myself and I am by myself it's motivating yourself <laughs> to do something it is You know, you can sort of, because you've not got anybody looking over your shoulder saying, come on, get this done, like you have it in a place of work, it's quite easy to just not do it and procrastinate and do something else. But, like I 
say once I get going I like to keep going but because the sun's out and I want to finish off the front garden and I have got gardener's fingers I know sorry today and that obviously there's now uh, sawing going on I'm going to have to finish uh, and then come back tomorrow or later depending on what what I feel like once I've had the Sunday roast and all that will I feel like having a sitting and stitching again probably not but it's the filming uh, I love the stitching but then it's also I feel like I have to fill fill the ta fill the sort of spaces I don't want you to think I'm sitting here ignoring you and not talking so it's that and then wondering what I'm going to say next I'm, although I don't usually have a problem <laughs> I can talk for England right we're going to stitch get a knot in that do a double knot in that quarters knot whatever you guys like to call it so we are down right I'm going to just spray that get rid of the and once that dries I'm going to press this where the uh, erasable pen is how cute is that that's adorable but you like I say you can put another piece of fabric on the back for this purpose I'm not going to I might do it um, off camera you know and all that but that's something I'm assuming that you're gonna know what to do so I'm just not going to do that uh, and and put your uh, string on your binding on so I hope you've enjoyed this and as much as I have even though I've sort of got a little bit uh, back to front with it but hey ho not to worry if you've enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and if you want if you're new and you haven't subscribed yet I'd love you to subscribe and pop things in the comments and I do try to get back to you as soon as I can as soon as I see them I can't I can't comment on my phone I'm not very good with that um, I just can't my thumbs get in the way and all that you know so I usually have to wait till I get on the iPad to comment back so I do see them and then think oh must um, must get back on and chat to you so yeah please do give us a thumbs up and a subscribe and I'll see you again soon happy stitching everybody bye bye <laughs>